Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Foodie Futaro. Wishing all you guys out there a very happy feast and a very happy Independence Day. Today I have brought for y'all a Goan delicacy which is mostly prepared for the feast of Our Lady of Assumption and on 15th August and the dish is the patonis. Hope so y'all will enjoy this dish. So let's get started with the recipe. Now for the patolios. Here I have taken Goan red rice as you all can see. Now I will be washing this rice into 4 to 5 waters and then adding sufficient water we leave it overnight for soaking. So I will see you all in the morning now. So here I have washed the rice very well and I have put sufficient water now and now I will leave it for soaking overnight. And I will see you all in the morning guys. So here now the rice is soaked after 8 hours as you all can see and now this rice has to be ground it has to be ground to a nice smooth paste but a thick paste we don't want it like watery so we want a thick paste so let's do that first now so now here is a blender jar and into that we will be adding this rice And now we will be adding little water at a time and grind it to a smooth but a thick paste. So now we will be adding a little water and we will run the mixer again. ground this into a fine but a thick paste here as you can see the paste it's very very uh, smooth so now I'll take this out into a bowl so now I'll grind the rest of the rice and then I'll get back to you Now for the second step, we have to make the filling for the patoi. So for that I have taken a bowl and into that I will be adding, this is half cup of coconut but I have taken one coconut actually. This is the size of the, this is the size of the coconut which I have used. So you all have to use this coconut for big coconut and we have to grate it up actually. We have to grate it. So here. This is the palm joggery as you can see. This is Goa's famous joggery. So I'll be using this today for this dish. You all can even use the sugarcane joggery as I told you all. If you all don't get this anywhere. So now I'll be adding this one cup of joggery to this coconut. And we'll just give it a mix first. freshly ground cardamom powder and quarter teaspoon of salt and now we will just give this a nice mix and we will mix this all the joggery has to get incorporated with this coconut very well
can see the jaggery has got very well incorporated with the coconut. So now this was the second step. Now we'll proceed to the third step of this dish. So we'll keep this aside now. Now for the third step, these are the turmeric leaves as you can see. So now we we'll cut this into pieces. So how big you all want it, so big you all can eat the pieces. So here, yeah, as you can see, I have cut it into this size pieces. These turmeric leaves, I had washed them up very well first, and then with a nice clean kitchen towel, I dried them up very well. And now I am cutting them into pieces now. But first, we have to wash them up very well. These turmeric leaves are also known as haldi ka patta. They give a beautiful aroma. And for this particular dish, these only turmeric leaves are used. So now here, into this batter of this rice, what we had made, we'll add some salt to it. Here I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt to it. Or you can add salt according to your taste for this, and we'll give it a nice mix. This batter has to be like this only thick, so that we can be able to spread it on the leaves now, which will be the next step. Spread this up nicely. All the corners of this we have to fill with this batter. Don't fill it too thick or too thin. It should be a medium size stuff over this. Spreading. And now we have to just fold this and cover this leaf up very well and press the sides so that everything gets sealed up on all the sides. And now we have to proceed to steam this up.
patoyas are ready. Now we have to steam them. Now for steaming of this, let us proceed further now. So now for the steaming of the patoyas, I have taken a cooker. You all can use even the normal uh, traditional cooker which you have. And here I have taken some water and I have placed a ring. Now I will be placing the thali inside it. Top of this, I'll be placing all these patoyas. We'll not place too many, and now we we'll cover the cooker. And we we'll steam this for 20 minutes without the weight. We don't have to put the weight of the cooker, so we'll steam it for 20 minutes on medium flame. So here, the delicious looking patoyas are ready. As you can see, they are nicely cooked. Now I'll open one and show it to you all. See how very well they are cooked. And I'll cut one also. the coconut and jaggery is just steaming hot and it is smelling so delicious with the haldi leaves so guys hope so you have liked this recipe of mine so do comment in the comment section as to how you all liked it also do take a moment and subscribe to this channel of mine and also hit the bell notification which is just next to it so that you all could get notified each time i post a new video also please hit the like button and share this recipe with your family friends and relatives See you in our next video with a fresh and amazing recipe. Till then, take care, stay safe. Bye bye.